Hey, everybody. It has been a few days. Welcome to another episode of Smoke and Mirrors. Uh, this episode today is brought to you by uh, food. Uh, food. It's, it's, it's future poop. You're wiping your mouth today. You'll be wiping your tushy tomorrow. Food. Uh, also brought to you by the uvula. It's, um, it's, it's that weird part of your soft palate in the back of your throat that hangs down. Not, I don't know what the purpose of it is, but if you, if you, uh, if you fuck with it a little bit, it'll, it'll make you barf. Um, also, uh, please don't do that, especially, uh, especially if you have any, any, any history of an eating disorder. All right, welcome to Smoke and Mirrors, and now here they are, your uh, person who hosts whatever this is, uh, <laughs> Carlos Karim, uh, and here they come, right to your face, right to your face, I, 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 I did come, uh, just heard that, just heard it, just heard it when I was saying it. Uh, it's 421. We, uh, me, we, we, me, I am late and, but I'm here and and that's how, uh, how I know I'm officially here. I have an official, uh, Official sound. Um, hey, what's up, uh, y'all? Um, thank you so much for being here. Uh, and uh, if you were here on uh, Friday of the most recent, God damn, I should do words before I do this in the day. Uh, if you were here last Friday, uh, you were here with me and my friend, Walida uh, and Marisha. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I certainly did. We did. We were on the phone a bit after word, and uh, we're talking today. Uh, certainly was less entertaining, I think, for, for an audience when we were talking today. It was uh, a little bit of me crying uh, and us just talking about what it's really like and taking off all of our clown, our clown makeup. Me, mostly. Me, mostly. She doesn't, she doesn't, uh, she doesn't wear clown makeup. That's just me. Um, hey, uh, so great to see, uh, whoever is here. Uh, and, uh, I, it is always a pleasure to be here with folks. Uh, new folks, if you are here for the firstest, uh, well, secondest time, I'm going to say, I'm going to guess, based on how many people were here with myself and Walida or myself and Forrest and or are planning on joining me with uh, Ryan, uh, uh, Nicole, uh, on, uh, on uh, Friday there, uh, uh, that's, that's going to be my, my next guest. Uh, we're going to, we're going to be chatting and saying some words from our mouth holes, uh, on, on, uh, on Friday. Uh, Hey, hope you will, uh, join us for that. Uh, I don't know what it, what it is. I think I'm doing here. I don't know what it is. I think I'm doing here. Um, I will say that I've had to talk about it with my therapist more than once. Uh, my talking, mostly because you are here with me and I appreciate it. Uh, and it, uh, for me, uh, is a bit more surprising than it was, uh, for her, given what she knows of who I am and latchkey child that I was, which would have led to a moment like this, 
uh, being a, a, a comfort zone moment for me. The whole uh, lock yourself up and deal with this if you're going to create anything, right? Uh, there's no more. I, I love the stand-ups. It's my favorite. It is my heroin. I need it. it, it mm, caffeine. Co it's my coffee. It's my coffee. It's my coffee. Uh, too many comedians have died from heroin. That's not funny. Except it's really funny. Uh, it's my coffee, and I love it. It's my favorite. But also, uh, this um, gives me ways to create and things to think about. And I hope you're finding those, too. I hope you have a warm bevy. I hope you have a warm bevy. I do. How you doing? How you doing in there? Uh, all, 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 all of my friends in, in, in my computer box. How are you? Uh, you've turned your 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 home into an office now. It's, it's, so you're doing big kid office things in your home. Uh, you've you've gotten the grout. Uh, I've gotten the grout. I got the grout. The grout is gone. There's it's it's not gone. It's clean now. The the mold in the grout is is gone i got uh i i finally also invested in a shower curtain uh that was not disgusting uh that was not dis it's not it's like a spa shower curtain uh i am uh i am uh, you know i am a fancy i am a fancy it has been said to me in the past uh uh, sometimes it's an accusation, uh, never wrongly. Uh, I smell good. I read books and I like a shower curtain that, that doesn't make you go bah, bah, when it touches you. So I got one of those. Anyway, uh, shout out to our friends at Bloom uh, Dispensary. This is, the bud is Narnia today. It's called Narnia. Uh, so witches and wardrobes and such, I don't remember. Is that the one or is the line the witch in the wardrobe? Is that its own thing or is that Narnia? I don't know. I don't, I don't like, uh, I don't like white people's children's stories. So I don't, I don't, I don't know which one. Anyway, we're going there. Let's go. Fuck them. If you are indulging with me, please do so deeply. Uh, today uh, is not the special show that I promised. It is a special show. Uh, I have promised a special show. There is one coming. Uh, it's going to be here very soon. Um, aw. Uh, <laughs> I said aw and acted. Like, I am not the only one here who is the only one who could have pressed the button to have that be on the screen. But uh, thank you nonetheless, uh, Chantrell. Um, this is not the special special that is coming. There is a special special coming. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Uh, I hope. I promise. I pr All things, all things, if all things go well, it's going to be special special. Today... Is, uh, is another special thing that I've been thinking about for a minute that I want to share with you. Uh, and it's a thought uh, about, about that I've been thinking about because I've been getting a lot of, as I have shared with you, if you've been here before, uh, fan uh, notes and mail about my thoughts on the fact that Democrats have uh, nominated, uh, uh, what is the word, rapist. Uh, for their uh, presidential candidate nominee, and the fact that 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 now uh, we're in a fucking way where we don't really have, if you don't want uh, to be for four more years under a, a, an open fascist and would-be strongman. Uh, and the, uh, the burning uh, fire around us is not the thing you're into. 
I, though I am very, very, very impressed and hopeful because of black people. My God, we are taking it to them. Uh, a month ago, I sounded like a crazy person. And now they're saying defund the, the uh, demilitarize and defund the police on, 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 on white people news. Didn't expect, I, I didn't see that coming. Um, uh, that's dope. Uh, Black Lives Matter is being properly, properly attributed to the three uh, women and femmes uh, who, who are uh, uh, created it. Uh, at DeRay Mickelson is being called out uh, for being a uh, voyeuristic, cannibalistic asshole. So all these things are good. Um, and uh, we, uh, you know, listen, it's not, it's not, it's not good. It's not a, 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 a good, right? Okay, right? It's not a good situation. We live in a circumstance of begging for favors. We know this, Okay. Uh, we all agree, and it's a, it's a, it's, it's a trash fire, and uh, I have said it before, I will say it again, Biden uh, just seems to be uh, absolutely uh, in a, a, a race to second over his own balls. He seems to, every day that he opens his mouth, say another thing that is questionable, and yet... And still, uh, th this, uh, if you are a person of color, if you are uh, an immigrant, if you are uh, gay, uh, if you are a woman, uh, if you are uh, trans, if you are queer, if you are poor, uh, if you are uh, not rich white, this is not, we, this is bad. This is the, there's never been an as bad as this. Whatever anybody ever wants to say about the, 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 the whenever, uh, anything post reconstruction, this, this is bad. And um, there is only one way out of this in the system of begging for favors. And it's gross. And I don't feel good about it. And you shouldn't feel good uh, about it either. But we, we, we got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. And I do talk about it. And if I'm going to talk about it, I'm going to say true things about it, right? And so I'm going to say true things about it for all the reasons we talked about. I'm going to say true things about it because of Anita Hill, uh, of him of him yelling at and shaming a black woman for daring to tell the truth uh, 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 about a black man and and calling that circumstance a, a an, an electronic uh, lynching. Listen, the whole world's on fire now because of an electronic lynching, motherfucker, a lynching that we saw electronically. That was not that. That was not that. And, and, and let's, be, let's be fair and balanced. Uh, that phrase became popularized not because he said it, right? He, he wasn't the one who said it. It was this motherfucker, right? The one who got in, the conservative asshole who ended up being the fucking... The next, he's the, it's a lifetime appointment with this Clarence Thomas, who also, by the way, ushered in fucking uh, 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 Scalia, right? And that's bad, and that's not good, and we don't, I don't, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that. But I, I'm not even, I'm not even, I don't even want to talk about that right now. Um, there's a different thing about about this person. That uh, that has been on my mind, uh, and yeah, it's got a little bit to do with why I call him Sniffy Joe. Uh, I I find him gross. I find him disturbing. Uh, uh, to the point that I don't like this. I don't even want to see this here anymore. It's disgusting, okay? We know, we know he's got a pattern. We know who he is. 
Uh, oh, God, that's not even, I didn't mean to do that. I apologize. This <sighs> cool glasses, Joe, I don't, I don't want, I don't, okay, listen, take that, listen, I don't, I don't want any pictures of him there because here's, here's what it is for me. Um, Tara Reid was very clear about what happened to her and, and when it happened to her uh, in the 90s was very clear about what the circumstances were. Uh, we've seen other pictures of, 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 of Rapey McFeely uh, touching up on people uh, and doing the gross things. And this is not about the fact that, 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 that he does and has done those things. This is not about the fact that he said that ridiculous bullshit about if you don't vote for him then you don't know you're black or you're not black or whatever the fucking whatever the fucking fucking fuck he said that he shouldn't have said this is about uh what happened uh, immediately after uh and in the wake of uh Tara Reed uh really not only saying what she said in terms of of, of getting very specific uh, about her accusations, but uh, going on on uh, Amy Goodman's show and um, on Amy Goodman's show, uh, talking specifically not only about the incident, not only about the assault, but about what she wanted and, and, and what she wants. Uh, and uh, what she wants is for Joe Biden to drop out. Um, I would relish that. Uh, if he were to leave uh, and 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 step aside for uh, any of the other top three or four candidates who were there, if you're going to play the Democrat system again, I'm not one. This is not my team. Uh, I do vote, but I vote because I am clear that we're in a system of begging for favors, and you can't get the favors out of the motherfuckers who are trying to reverse everything that already happened the last time that the system of begging for favors led to Obama and then he initiated shit and then these same motherfuckers who say that they give a shit just disappeared during midterms and 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 then it was whatever the fuck. That's not what I'm here to talk about either. What I'm talking about is uh, the response of the Democratic Party and the response of Joe Biden in particular, right? The response of the Democratic Party showed up in two very different ways. Um, Of course, it showed up in the traditional mansplaining, weird, fucked up, uh, uh, non-apology sort of attack on the victim saying that, that that's not the Joe Biden I know. Uh, the Joe Biden I know wouldn't do that. The Joe Biden I know, I know in his heart that he's not a rapist, which is not the question, because the question was, was uh, about the DNA in his fingernails, not his heart. So gross, uh, you know, and then the next thing that they did was that the women were then forced to come out and say, I believe Joe Biden. And it began with, uh, it began with April and she had to go on, I believe, it, I don't remember which one, one of the Sunday morning shows and she wasn't vetted properly and, and prepared to, do, she hadn't looked at herself in the mirror and said, I believe Joe Biden enough times to then effectively look at a camera and say, I believe Joe Biden. And it was very stuttery. It was very stuttery. Uh, and then some white ladies uh, had to come out and say it, like Amy Kobelcher, who, uh, his name I'm sure I'm saying wrong. Uh, and, 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 and she, uh, said not only that she believed Joe Biden, but that she could, she could not believe the allegations against Joe Biden. She's the same one who, uh, earlier had the opportunity to prosecute the cop who ended up, uh, killing, uh, George Floyd. And so I don't believe her. about stuff uh, and words that she says and I wish she'd shut up is what I is what I is 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 what I wish is what I wish um, and it's a mess 
And all these people keep saying things that are um, excusey. And Joe Biden just keeps saying the thing of, I did not. This never happened. Now, the demo- in, this, in the history of the Democratic playbook, that has never played well. That has never played well. That didn't play well when it was Kennedy. Uh, That didn't play well when it was uh, Clinton. That uh, doesn't play well with Joe. That didn't, that, 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 that doesn't play well. That doesn't play well. It's a bad, it's a bad look. And it's always followed by the non-apology apology when eventually it is revealed that this thing did happen. Uh, And everyone will then say, well, but we had to say what we said because we had to make him President Biden and now he is and soon he will die and then it will be fixed because for the last 60 or so years, we've been running on this idea of then the racists will die or then the rapists will die or then the white people will die or then it'll be 2042 and we'll be in the numerical majority, like somehow that's going to convince the the power brokers and the aristocracy to start like trinkling out and doling out and sprinkling out all of the rights, which it's not. It's not. Because these are the same people who stole all the spices from all over the world and then don't cook with them. These are the same people who put their tea in the harbor as an act of resistance and rebellion. They're burning their own stuff. Why don't white violence? It's it, there's a history, there's a history of it is what I'm saying. So in this white on white violence, the, the maintenance of the patriarchy absolutely necessitated that JoJo, sniffy JoJo, get out there and uh, not say shit, right? Not say shit meaningful, and then he's going to get out there and apologize later. There won't be meaningful like the shit that he said earlier. There wasn't meaningful about what's happening in the streets and all of the rest of it. We know. We know all of this. I don't even want to talk about any of that. I want to talk about... I want to talk about an alternative universe, an alternate universe, in which leadership begins from a place of taking accountability, right? Um, Even for... The, 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 the gross shit that you did that was done from a place of privilege that you assumed you were allowed to do and history has shown you that you're not, that, that, that the move doesn't end up being one of, but I didn't know and it was a different time. Because again, one, you're erasing all of the work that was happening of the women suffragists. You were suffragists. You're erasing all of the work of, of, of all of the, the, the black women who were leading the Black Panther, who were leading the movements of liberation. You're erasing all of this work that has continued to be done in the face of abusers and rapists uh, and in spite of them, not, not, not because of them. And frankly, uh, at this point in the game, there on the comedy stage or on talk show, we don't need you anymore abusers is the thing that that is happening and that we're saying um and i just wish it had gone differently and um so i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a little scene i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna say uh some things from my heart that are would be the things that i i wish i wish uh, that Joe Biden had said, uh, that he did not say, uh, and I'm going to be riffing here. I, you know, I'm going to forget some shit that I've thought about, but fuck it. It is what it is. Uh, and, uh, let's, uh, let's go to, let's go to a fantasy world together. Let's, let's, hell, let's go to Narnia together. Ooh, that was a segue. I just... You know, the universe sometimes volleys up some shit. I know I should have just let that ride and made it look like I planned that at the beginning of the whole thing and that I was supposed to do it and I had a way to get into the shit I'm about to do next. I didn't. And uh, I should have let it alone. I'm showing you how the sausage is made because I don't give a fuck. 
Uh, anyway, take another hit. This is the Narnia. Uh, shout out to Gloom and uh, what I, what I wish Joe Biden had said. Uh, what I wish he had said. Uh, good evening. Uh, I'm Joe Biden, and I have to have a very difficult conversation with you right now. Um, if there are young people in the room, I don't want you to, to send them out. Uh, I think it's important that they hear this too, and that they understand that we understand that, um, that they see what's happening in the world. Uh, so recently, an intern of mine, Tara Reed, has accused me of, uh, molestation. And, um, I'm going to be frank. This is not the first time that that's come up. Uh, I have recently, uh, due to the, the guidance and leadership of some uh, women who have been extraordinarily patient with me, um, begun to really examine uh, my past history and uh, my past history with a lot of people. Uh, and uh, that includes, of course, Tara Reid. Uh, and the first thing I want to say is just that I'm very, very, very sorry. I am very sorry for what harm I have caused you. Uh, and uh, I just want to leave that there. Uh, I don't. I don't want to get into trying to litigate what she has said, uh, that's, that's for mediators to do. That's for, uh, people more qualified to take care of. And I don't want to drag her, uh, or her name, uh, at all. Uh, but I do recognize that again, I do have a pattern. I have been, uh, I've been touching people. I've been sniffing people. Uh, I said horrible things to Anita Hill uh, because I did. We have been under the under the iron fist of uh, an extremely conservative uh, Supreme Court um, since Barack and I were in office, and. Uh, I couldn't see past my own sexism. I couldn't see past my own my own vested interest in power. And I fucked up. And now we are up against it. And I am a mess. Uh, I am, I am, uh, I am literally the flaming, flaming uh, chariot in a kingdom on fire. And I am asking that you get on. And there's no reason that you should. There's no reason that you should trust me. But what I've said before, I stand by it. There will be a woman vice president. That is going to happen. I promise you that my cabinet is going to be reflective of the people around me who have been directing me in terms of thinking about my own actions and how I've been using my unearned and undeserved privilege for my own benefit rather than for the benefit of the most impacted and beginning to reflect on how things that I did that I thought were the right things at the time brought us to this place. And I have to be held accountable to that. And I hope that you'll give me the chance to atone for my sins and for my wrongs, because I have been wrong. Uh, I said that it was, uh, that I didn't believe that a woman should have the right to decide what happens to her own body in every case. And uh, I was wrong. Uh, I challenged 
uh, Anita Hill. Uh, and uh, I was wrong. And um, I will not do that again. And so uh, when this all comes out in the wash, I hope that you will, you will uh, work with me, that we can work together. Um, that I will be held to account for, uh, for what happened with, with Tara Reid. Uh, I, I hope to appoint her to a joint task force, uh, on, uh, women's rights and, and harassment. Uh, and, um, I hope that by surrounding myself with the right people, with the right experience, that uh, you will help me to overcome my flaws and uh, that together uh, we can overcome the, the beast that we're facing now. Uh, and if not, not. Uh, either way, I'm sorry. It's not that hard. Everyone fucks up. Everyone fucks up. Some people evidently fuck up more on purpose than others and have uh, feelings about it. But if it was a fuck up, for real, for real, for real, you can, you can atone. You can atone. You can put your money where your mouth is. You can make some, some things happen to make it happen. Uh, anyway, but he didn't, and he doesn't, and he sucks, and uh, he won't, and... So that's why I'm going to talk about him. Uh, I'm not a rape apologist. Some people said I shouldn't talk about Bill Cosby when I was talking about Bill Cosby. I'll still talk about Bill Cosby. Uh, fuck him. Fuck Harvey Weinstein. Fuck fucking uh, Louis C.K. He's not funny. And uh, really fuck Joe Biden. Uh, I do hope he, 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 he does less damage. Uh, oh, God. I don't. I don't know. I, you know, I don't know. What I do know is this, right? Is that we're not in a circumstance where it's like we're about to find ourselves with some better option. That's not going to happen. I wish it would. My team kind of, you know, I, and I only say it's my team because the Republicans can't be. And if I'm going to be stuck in your stupid fucking binary, at least while you're holding the power, which isn't long because people are taking the streets and things are being changed. Uh, you know, while we still got to play your fucking stupid Monopoly Scrabble game, whatever the fuck you're doing here, I, I can't be a Republican, so I don't know. I guess, I guess, I guess. I just hope they don't fuck it up worse. Do you know what I mean? I hope they don't do anything. Uh, oh, dear Lord. Oh, my dear God. Just. Just fucking why? Tripping over your own balls. Just terrible. Hey. Hey, this is Smoke and Mirrors. <laughs> it's what to do. Uh, I, uh, if you want to, if you, if you really like this, uh, guess what? Uh, you can become a patron of the arts and this is the art that it is, I guess, the art of taking a nice, hot, steamy one in the punch at the party. Uh, that's what I'm an expert at. Uh, <laughs> you can become a patron. These, these four good people did. Uh, their names are scrolling. Your name can scroll too, if if that's the thing you want to do. Um, I I don't know. I don't know. What, what would you do? What would you do? For that the fuck, I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do. 
I know what I wouldn't do. I know what I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I know what I wouldn't do that. You know why? Looking like a Wakandan chess set. Jesus Christ, is that really, that's really what we're doing? Okay, I mean, like I said, I, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't very well be a, be a Republican, so I guess, I guess here we go. Um, I guess here we go. Anyway, this has been uh, Smoke and Mirrors. Hey, this has been Smoke and Mirrors. Um, you, if you like what I do, or you, maybe you only like my face and you don't want to hear any of the words that come out of it, you can find me on IG if you like the words. Uh, but my voice is just so irritating. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Caballo Negro. Uh, uh, no, it's not either at, uh, what I meant to say is Caballo Negrito. Uh, I knew what I was trying to say. Uh, please give some money to the Okra Project. That's an organization that, that if you do that, what they're doing is they're trying to, to uh, provide some food security to, uh, brown and black trans folks. They, they, they need your help. Uh, do you like this? Do you like what we're doing? Hey, share it. Share it with a friend. Oh, do you want someone who you're just fucking, you've had enough of their goddamn bullshit and you just want to antagonize them and you think this would do it? Share it with them. I don't give a fuck. I love the hate mail too. Share it to them. I don't care. I don't care. Just share it. Uh, we call that passing the J when we're sitting here under the philosopher's tree together. Uh, also, if uh, for some reason you are so inclined, uh, as were uh, Sarah and uh, Tracy and Danielle and Megan and Jennifer to uh, share this, uh, then what you could do is, uh, I mean, to, to share this, to drop five on it, what you could do is to do that at the Venmo, at the Cash App, or at the PayPal. Uh, those are all in my name in different variations. Venmo is Carlos Dash Wyndham. Cash app, dollar sign, C, to the K, to the Wyndham. And uh, PayPal is PayPal me at CK Wyndham, C-K-W-I-N-D-H-A-M. Like the jazz label, not like the hotels. Uh, yes, the Okra Project, that's where they uh, are, are, that's where to give the money for the uh, folks. I'm sorry, for the folks who are doing the food security project, that is the Okra Project. Uh, at uh, PayPal, The Okra Project, and uh, you can find them at the socials, at The uh, Okra Project, and uh, this has been uh, another episode of Smoke and Mirrors. Don't forget to tune in Friday. I'm going to be here with Ryan on. It's going to be great. Uh, Ryan Nicole. I almost called her by her fucking wrong name. I'm trying to use her stage name. Asshole. Uh, hey, wash your hands. Take care of yourself. Please take care of each other. Uh, I will She's a rich girl. Don't try to hide it. Diamonds on the soles of a shit. Fuck this. Okay. All right. Democrats. Get it right. I love you. Bye. Bye.